the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go. Wow. So, Jay, you feel the same way? Yo, get on this side. What's up with that Dylan White fight and those three, three fucking uh, fights that they offered you guys? What, what happened with Luis Ortiz? On the December 22nd card, he accepted Dylan White's offer. Why that didn't happen? Why is it Chisora? Well, Lewis wanted him to come down. We knew we had a slot on the Wadgers card. Wadgers said, Lewis earned it. He could fight on my card. Let's make it big. We said, all right. We're looking for an opponent, looking for an opponent. All of a sudden, White brings out an article saying, oh, Lewis ducking me. We never had an offer to fight Dylan White. I don't know what he's talking about. I, I, I have to get my phone, show my emails. Eddie Hearn never offered to fight Dylan White or Joshua. You told um, me Eddie offered you three other fights not no, no, named Dylan White. No, not Dylan White, but, but that was separate. Um, then Dylan White puts out this article, we're looking for a guy. And Lewis says, look, he says he's looking for a fight. Ask him. I said, all right, I don't know if that's possible. But I asked. Lewis put the article out with somebody saying that he'll fight to come down to his card. White says no, which is understandable. He says, come, come to me. I got a bigger card. I'm the main event. It's fair. He is a big name. He don't need to be a co-main. I mean, I would I would have come to U.S. if I was yesterday in the U.S. fan base. But I understood that part. I told Lewis, Lewis, look, forget it. He's going to fight over there. He's got a card maybe next year. Lewis goes around me anyway and says, no, no. I'm going. I don't got time. Uh, let me do that. Maybe they give me Joshua and I, I get the U.K. fans. Uh, I can knock them out. I said, no, he still put an article out. I call Eddie. I said, Eddie, is this true? Um, back and forth texting with him and talking. He says, no. Oh, he said it wasn't true. He says, I'll find out, but no, we got Chisora already. We're dealing with Chisora. If Chisora falls out, then maybe we could think about Lewis. And then the white never responded. Nobody responded back. And as far as the dance, uh, the deal, they did make offers, and I told the team and Lewis, but not enough money. Lewis is already a star here in the U.S., believe it or not. You saw the people plot him in the Staples Center the other day, and much more now, coming into a wilder class. That's why I didn't want to lose that. You know, you're fighting in, in our town. Lewis is now American. He's, this is where the, the place again, freedom. Yeah. You know, he had no freedom in Cuba. So, unless they give him outrageous numbers or the kind of money they make, Lewis ain't going to no other channel. Showtime shows love, everybody. You know? Now, when, when discussing the zone and a possible deal with Lewis, does Eddie give you numbers in terms of viewership or subscribers? How many people are on we, the we app? We didn't even get to that. Would you ask those questions or does that not matter if, if depending numbers, what the money is like? Depending what the money is. Uh, if, so it don't matter. You know, if it $10 million or three, something, he's not going over there. We can make that money here. You know, Wait, he said $10 spot, million for three and he ain't going? No, he didn't even offer that. So we didn't entertain it. Wow. You know? and, and really, Lewis is in a stage where more than the money right now, we want to fight the big names. Time in on their side. Lewis got what? Six, seven fights. We, we want to fight already with the best. You think he got six, seven fights left? We are big hardcore fights with big guys. So that's two, two, no, three years. Two, three years. years. You know, God knows. I'm just giving realistic. You know, uh, there's people that won the the heavyweight title champ at 44. What's his name? Um, Foreman won it after 40. You know, he was 44, 45, and Lewis stays in better shape than all those people. Uh, you seen him, Lewis. If they ain't giving them big numbers, man, we're gonna stay loyal to who's loyal to us, you know? Showtime, aisle, uh, and keep, keep doing what we do. Especially with all these dates, has that influenced your decision? They just announced a bunch of dates on show uh, on Fox. Fox, yeah. And now they BBC. have to re release their, their Showtime um, lineup. Is that enticing you guys to possibly be on one of those pay-per-view slots or one of those premium Showtime slots? It depends, you know, wherever the money's at, but we're looking for a title shot. Yo, you know what you we, should we do? Wanna, we want to get to the level where they can't say no. As a guy. Everybody puts out media, and I heard you in an interview with Wilder, when you asked him, Dylan White, he laughed. People in real boxing, we knew Dylan White wasn't going to take the fight. Um, I thought it was a possibility, but Lewis needs big names. We need a title shot. We need to get in a position where the Joshua, uh, Fury, Wilder, the big names, Fight. And it's good for TV. Well, Jay, man, thank you so much, brother. What is up, TBV family? Yes, yes, YouTube has been cutting funding to uh, their channels as of late and with net neutrality. 
uh, going through its process. The internet is changing. If you want to keep your favorite channel intact, coming up with tons of content, and plus get hours and hours of extra content, head over to patreon.com forward slash the boxing voice uh, to become a member of the TBV family and help support the channel. Peace.